Hey guys, I'm back after three weeks of craziness. Um, the last time I was on, I was trying to remember if, uh, or actually I was trying to get under 220. Um, had a lot of stuff going on then, and I have a whole lot more going on now. Um, I think God is really just trying to test my patience. Um, <laughs> Notice I'm wearing my Jesus is Lord t-shirt here. Um, but yeah, I think he's really trying to test my patience. Um, test my faith, because oh my gosh, there's a lot going on. Um, I told you guys about my dad. I told you about my daughter. I'm still dealing with a lot of the BS and fallout with the other parents and the school not dealing with anything to do with them. Um, I've spoken to them, but no one from the school has. Go figure, right? You can kick my daughter off the team for going home with them, but you can't say anything to them about not talking to a coach or anything, right? So that's where I'm at with that. Um, gosh. I've had some issues. I've got another health issue going on. Go figure. Um, I'm, I've got a head cold in addition to having the most excruciating joint pain. Um, I actually went to sleep the other night and woke up in the middle of the night wanting to scream bloody murder because all of my joints decided they wanted to lock up. So now they're checking to see if I have rheumatoid arthritis. Won't that be fun? Um, goodness. <sighs> At any rate, I finally managed to get down to 220. Didn't get under, but I got down to 220. I had a bad week and gained, I think, three pounds? I can't remember. Uh, I think it was three pounds and went back down. <sighs> no, it was four pounds because I dropped back down to two. So now I'm 222. So I started out 273, state of surgery. I was 256. And now I am 222. Um. Sorry about all the mouth breathing, but my nose is too plugged up to do anything else, so, yeah. Um, there's really not a whole lot else to say, except for, sorry I keep leaving you guys in the wind. <laughs> and then coming back with, like three weeks later, two weeks later, trying to give you an update, but things have just been crazy. My daughter started with her travel basketball team, which is fantastic. She's with a new team. They didn't have enough girls for uh, the junior varsity team with the place she was at before, so now she's playing with a new place, and they seem to really be good. So I'm looking forward to her playing with this program. And oh my gosh, this crap is expensive. <laughs> it's crazy, but that's what we do for our kids, right? She's also doing track. She's had to change her event because she kept pulling her groin doing hurdles. It's what she's absolutely tall enough to do hurdles, but she doesn't stretch properly. So it's just all bad. <laughs> well, um, goodness. I got my nice A6. Um, actually, yeah, let me show you guys. cute. I love them. I love these things. They have the best gel padding inside of here. It's like running on a cloud. I love it. And yes, I have a big ass foot. Um, <laughs> I wear a size 10 women's go figure. And as for this, if I just go and they're going to fill it then it'll be 220 bucks if I go and they need to do a root canal 
then it will be a thousand dollars. That's just me, right? My luck. You know, I, I, I can't just have something close. It's got to be on one end or the other. You know, 220 bucks, I have. Thousand dollars? No. <sighs> and they don't want to do payments. Well, they'll do two payments. So I can either pay $110 at a time or I can pay 500 <sighs> Lucky me. But, um, keep your fingers crossed that they can just do a filling and get it taken care of because, oh my gosh, really? And I actually got lucky enough with Dr. Park to, uh, to just get into her office and not have to pay for the office visit. It was crazy. It just happened to luck up on her. So, if you're in the Stanislaus County area, check out Dr. Park. She's fantastic. Um, goodness. I will be one year post-op on March 23rd, so hopefully I'll be able to get on here and let you guys know what's going on and celebrate my anniversary with you guys. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to do that with a loss. I'm actually looking forward to losing more weight. Um, I don't know, I'm just so freaking tired at this point of all the craziness. They were telling me that the best thing I can do until I find out whatever's going on is to continue to exercise. So that's what exactly what I intend to do, to continue to exercise. Um, hopefully I'm not actually damaging my knees or my ankles or anything because I actually have pain in my hands, my wrists, my elbows, my shoulders, my knees, my hips, and my ankles. Nothing in my toes, thankfully. But, uh, yeah, it's just crazy. You know, crazy, achy, locked up feeling. So, keep your fingers crossed that I don't have arthritis and it's just something that, like some bug or something that's going around that old past. Because, oh my gosh, I really don't need anything else crazy going on. Uh, Okay, I've said um and oh my gosh, I don't know how many times, and you guys are probably getting sick of my voice already, so I will talk to you later, and hopefully by the time I make another video, I'll actually be able to breathe out of my nose and I'm not breathing all heavy. I probably sound like some pervert making a video. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later. Hey Lynn, shout out. <laughs> and Kat, I'll talk to you guys later.